This week, we wrap up our straight shooting interview with National Farmers Federation President Jock Laurie. Jock told the Digital Farm that after years of being under siege by coal seam gas miners, the odds might now be swinging in favour of primary producers and common sense. We asked Jock whether the federal government had a greater future role to play in terms of farmland exploration and mining. It has been a state issue for a long time. Uh, in the last 12 months we've uh, very much tried to elevate it to a federal level uh, and I think the reason we need to do that, while the states have the, uh, the legal right to hand out the coal seam gas exploration licence and mining exploration licence, that's fine, but I think the Australian community through the Australian government need to have some sort of overarching view on how mining should develop, uh, taking into consideration agriculture, food production, food security, uh, our opportunity or and or obligation to feed people around the world uh, and into the future. I think it's all a very serious debate that we need to have. So having said that, we've, we've, uh, we've encouraged the federal government along with, uh, with other people of course to engage in this debate uh, and just recently out of that of course the fallout of the mining tax was that they've, they're now setting up an independent body to give, scientific body to give some advice uh, and try and make sure or try and drive some changes in the state legislation to cover off on things like uh, understanding about how they're going to deal with water, how they're going to deal with aquifers uh, and those issues. So uh, I think the, the issue itself has been raised um, very much in the public profile, has certainly been raised very much now at a federal level, a government level, and I think all of the states are really starting to question or be questioned about uh, how the development of those industries uh, are operating. Now we need to take into consideration water, understand the impact on water, understand the impact on aquifers, understand the impact on agriculture production, um, whether, that, uh, whether it's going to impede agriculture production in the future. Uh, and I think if we, if we don't understand that and look back 15 years down the track and wish we had a thought about that at this time, then we, uh, we're not doing the right thing by, uh, by future generations. So let's have that discussion now and, and get some clarity and, and understand exactly what the impacts will be on, on, uh, on both industries. Jock Laurie told the Digital Farm that the New South Wales Government decision to grant a coal seam gas exploration licence for a suburban site at St Mary's in Western Sydney had been a game changer for the bush. Things change in the community, uh, perceptions change in the community and I think when they started to uh, or wanted to drill at St Mary's all of a sudden you took the problem to the, to the people. Uh, while the problem was sitting out in regional areas and regional people were getting frustrated by it, it was very hard to connect with city people. When you all of a sudden put it in their backyard, you, 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 you're bringing a whole new population, a part of the population into the, into the debate. So politically I thought that was a pretty stupid thing to do to allow that to happen. So what they've done now is they've got the, they've got the community sitting there and are very much questioning all of those issues. They're questioning fracking, they're questioning the use of chemicals, they're questioning exploration and all the holes that are being drilled and the, and the impact that will have on water and on food production. So state governments, uh, you know, there's a, there's a saying that's been sort of getting a bit trendy in the last 12 to 18 months, it's the social licence. And I think the mining coal seam gas sector was starting to lose some of their social licence and mining sector was starting to lose some of their social licence. And what they've got to do now in order to get it back is to build credibility uh, and give the community comfort that they, that they are well aware of the impacts of what they're doing and they've got a clear direction ahead and I think that uh, has very much flown through into state governments and also federal governments to a certain extent.